has also been an increased awareness uh, creation for famine in Bainwe State to augment uh, flood disaster and increase productivity in the food baskets of the nation. Our correspondent Francis Sturz report focuses on the state of irrigation famine in Bainwe State. The report. A visit to River Benue Bank shows its underutilization by prospective farmers in the state, though some farmers were seen working to keep the crops up for production. One of the farmers explained the benefit as well as the challenges of the farmers in this season. The low level of irrigation farming in the state is blamed on poor awareness sensitivity and cultural stereotypes of the Benue rural farmers. There's no awareness like that to farmers. And our chief people, if you go to interior villages, they go to farm from morning to evening, morning to evening. So if there is no rain again, they they concentrate on the raining. You see, they, there are some crops that you will do and harvest during dry season. So for them to continue with it, they will not have that far because they have not gone into it. Most lands at the back of the rivers are owned by people who don't engage into farming at all. The areas are occupied already. There's no point getting there. Most farmers who might even have intention to go there, they might end up not getting a piece of land to farm. Except if government can revisit by way of saying, identifying those who own the land and those who are willing to farm. According to agricultural experts, the climate change calls for more engagement like irrigation farming. You know, what this country has done is, uh, should I say, a lot. Benue has been ignored despite the potentials. The irrigation facilities are nearly absent here in Benue. There are no. Despite the availability of two key rivers in Nigeria here in Benue, you have River ben the, the presence of River Benue, River Kasnala, and several of their tributaries and other water bodies that are capable of supporting irrigation farming during the dry season. Unfortunately for us, the incentives to go into irrigation farming is not here. The crops on the farms are mostly vegetables and corn cultivated in small clusters. This is grossly inadequate to meet up the rising demand as there is growing need for the government to intervene to boost production. The governor-elect for Benue State stated that his government will prioritize irrigation farming to increase yields as a means for employment and revenue generation. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.